this is going to be a whisper and um, soft spoken video. We're just going to go through a magazine I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, so what caught my eye was the 48 budget wise recipes for snacks, soups, dinners, desserts, and more. Hearty food to lose weight. Feel great. So we'll see what's in there. Couscous biryani. Falafel fatouche. Cheesecake stuffed strawberries. Derived from the same plant as tequila, but far less potent. Hmm. That's interesting. done that before, stored when I purchase nuts for holiday baking or just baking in general. I store them in the freezer. So, anyway, chia seeds. Yes, this is the same stuff that makes chia pets so green and fuzzy. And yes, the seeds are edible. Tiny but mighty, what makes these particular seeds so special is that they form a gel when mixed with liquid. This makes them a powerful binder when trying to replace eggs, or should flax seeds be in short supply. Store in the freezer for a longer lifespan and grind them before using in baked goods to maintain an even crumb texture. Coconut milk. What's called for in this book is regular full fat canned coconut milk. That fat is necessary for creating a smooth, creamy mouthfeel and of course, a richer taste. Light coconut milk or coconut milk beverages found in cartons on store shelves or in the refrigerated section may be suitable in some cases for particularly calorie conscious cooks. But such a substitution is likely to have detrimental effects on the overall texture of the dish. For best results, treat yourself to the genuine article. Plain coconut milk is found canned in the ethnic food aisle at the grocery store. I've never purchased that. Oh, we shall see.
slice the papaya in half lengthwise and scoop out the seeds. Discard or save them for another recipe. They're great as a peppery addition to salt. Solvere. Manhattan mushroom chowder. That looks good. I love those little oyster crackers. They are absolutely delicious. Chickpea mulligatawny. So, like I said, I'm not a chickpea fan, but as long as it's um, flavored with something else, maybe. Cucumber melon gazpacho. Exploded wonton soup. That might be interesting. Garlic bread soup. That sounds delicious. Huge fan of garlic. Huge fan of bread. Which is part of my problem.
instant kimchi noodle soup. That looks delicious. It's got the big chunks of vegetables, onions, and mushrooms. Oh, that looks wonderful. Okay, three pea soup. I do love peas. Vegan spinach artichoke bisque. That looks good. French onion soup. I am a fan of a French onion soup. French onion soup and salad is an, just the perfect meal. Couscous. Couscous biryani. Pizza waffles. We have a few pizza items. And scampi. That might not be too bad. I'm not a fish eater either. It's one thing I wish I could enjoy, but I just don't. Palette paneer panini. What is in that? Three tablespoons coconut or vegetable oil divided. Two cloves of garlic minced. That's a lot of garlic. Two tablespoons diced yellow onion. Half a teaspoon of whole cumin seeds, one teaspoon of garam masala, five to six ounces, about four cups lightly packed baby spinach, two tablespoons plain yogurt or sour cream, and you can get vegan sour cream. I'm not sure about yogurt, probably, but I don't know. Half a teaspoon of lemon zest, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter cup sliced sun-dried tomatoes, Three, chibot three four ounce ciabatta rolls or six slice sandwich bread, seven ounces extra firm tofu cut lengthwise into half inch slabs. So that's what that is. Hmm, it looks delicious. Tamale pop pies. Mm. Polenta. Polenta is delicious. Um, the first time I tried polenta, um, I was with one of my brothers. Actually, I was with a couple of my brothers, but one of my brothers ordered. It was a polenta. Um, it was like this. It was uh, just different shaped polenta. And then it had a pork chop over the top. And then it had gravy over that. And the polenta was buttery and creamy and delicious. The pork chop was perfect. It was absolutely wonderful. So, if you've never tried polenta, I highly suggest it. Okay, so there's tamale pot pies, and there's the polenta on top, which is a cornmeal. Um, mofongo bowls. Sounds like something Polynesian. I could be wrong. Could be African. I don't know. I'm just throwing out words here. Ignore me if I'm wrong. Quick veggie lo mein. That looks absolutely wonderful. Mm. Ooh. Cruciferous mash. That looks delicious. Mm. Olive oil cake. Scallions, cauliflower, cauliflower, broccoli, vegetable stock, Parmesan cheese, horseradish, salt, ground nutmeg. Wow, that looks amazing. Pan fried balsamic Brussels sprouts. That sounds delicious. Oh, goodness. Blistered citrus snap peas. My big fat Greek asparagus. Love asparagus. It's so good. Couscous aroni. I have to try that. That looks good. Couscous and rice, it looks like. Oh, no, but it's horse pasta. That would make sense. So, please, that's what rice aroni is made with. And 
advertisement. Mango creme brulee. Wow. Wow, that looks really good. I'm not a fan of creme brulee, but... Vegan chocolate peanut butter fudge. That sounds delicious. Hmm. You can also um, look up online vegan chocolate chip cookies, and they are made with um, chickpeas. And they're actually pretty good. Like I said, if there's something else to mask the flavor. Makes it better. No bake biscoff pan for it. Cheesecake stuffed strawberries, peppermint bark melt away. Whole fruit whip. Mm -hmm. That sounds wonderful. But you could use almond milk instead of milk. Those bananas look so yummy. Grilled bananas, foster kebabs. Black forest skillet crisp. Oh, I love a good crisp. Peppermint patties. say that for a dollar, this has a lot of really great recipes in it. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to have to, um, going to have to, uh, pay more attention to these magazines. Thanks so much for joining me. I really greatly appreciate it. I hope you are relaxed and possibly have some tingles happening. But again, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day.